a quarterback that is getting hotter by the week, and a former Georgia Bulldog defender make this week our lads all rookie team, but maybe not the one that you think. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Syverson here from Our Lads Scouting Services. I have the week six Our Lads All Rookie Team. We are going to start off on the offensive side of the ball. I have for you Caleb Williams at quarterback. We have Ray Davis from the Buffalo Bills who got his first start as James Cook missed the Monday night game with an injury. At wide receiver, we have Lad McConkey who's been banging on the board the past few weeks. We have the constant Brock Bowers at tight end, and we have JC Latham at tackle and a repeat. Dominic Pooney from the San Francisco 49ers wrapping up with the interior offensive line. I'm going to spend a little bit more time talking about this week's our lads, all rookie offensive player of the week. And that is Caleb Williams from the Chicago bears last week. Williams made his inaugural appearance on the weekly Our Lads All Rookie Team. I spoke about his constant ascent since week one. The number one overall pick faced off against the one in four Jaguars in England. They were seeking their third straight win for the first time since December of 2020, the final season of the Mitch Trubisky era, and also the last time this franchise finished 500 and even sniffed the playoffs. Williams was not only the top rookie quarterback in week six, he was arguably the quarterback he was of the, he was arguably, sorry, the best quarterback in the NFL week six. He completed a league high 79% of his passes with a league high four touchdowns. He added 56 on, yards on the ground, good for third best among all NFL quarterbacks. Add this up, and he ended up with his first international win and the fourth rookie quarterback in history to finish with four touchdown passes and 50-plus rushing yards in the same game. The biggest gap I see between the early season struggles and what we are watching right now, besides the easy schedule of opposing defenses, is the confidence he has on short dropbacks. He is making the quick and correct decisions placing the ball where it needs to be without any hesitation. As his confidence grows, the more the league should be put on notice. And for the defensive side of the ball, we are going to start off at edge with a new a newbie in Chris Braswell, edge defender from the Tampa Bay Bucks. At defensive tackle, we have an undrafted free agent that I want everyone to keep an eye out for, and that is Evan Anderson from the San Francisco 49ers. At linebacker, we have Edrin Cooper, who is seeing more playing time by the week for the Green Bay Packers. At cornerback, a newbie also at Jarvis Brownlee Jr. from the Tennessee Titans. And at safety, we have the versatile Tyke Smith and Tyke Smith is actually the defensive rookie of the week that I'm going to spend a little bit more time telling you guys about after a really strong performance in the dominant win over the division uh, rival Saints in Spencer Rattler's debut. Uh, the NFL is littered with former Georgia Georgia Bulldog defenders, first rounders, Jalen Carter, Devontae Wyatt, Jordan Davis, Nolan Smith, Lewis Seen, Quay Walker, and Trevon Walker. And later draft picks from the defensive backfield in particular, Kamari Lassiter, Darion Kendrick, Javon Bullard. Do you want to know what they all have in common? They were all college teammates of Tyke Smith, a 2020 All-American from West Virginia that transferred to Georgia in 2021. His importance to that defense grew by the year. He lined up all over the unit, over 600 snaps at nickel, over 100 snaps at inside linebacker, over 90 snaps at outside linebacker, over 40 snaps at corner, and over 20 snaps at free safety. Because of his versatility, other players shined. Well, it was Smith that shined in week six for Tampa Bay in their win over New Orleans. The versatile usage has made its way to the NFL right away for the four and two bucks. He is lining up all over the defense and his presence was all over the stat sheet in week six. He finished with five tackles, one for a loss, in addition to two pressures. He intercepted a Spencer Rattler pass in the fourth quarter, running the route for the receiver and also forced a fumble in their first quarter on a play that ended up being a defensive touchdown for the Bucks. That does it for week six, our lads, all rookie team. If you want write-ups on all the players that I mentioned, offense and defense, make your way over to the website, ourlads.com, and you will find the week six, our lads, all rookie team. We'll see you next week, guys. Thank you.